firstly, I look like a lot of people and I get a lot of abuse for this, so I'm going to run through that now and then crack on with some actual comedy. Happy with that? Yeah. It's going to happen, might as well get bored. Good. Uh, I'm Rob Beckett and I'm not. Boris Johnson, Jack Swagger, Jeff Frazier, Biff Tannen. <laughs> James L. Jones, the Milky Bar Kid. <laughs> Princess Diana, Leslie Ash. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman, Maya Hindley, Craig Bellamy, Ida Johnson, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Willow. My life. There's how long these sex have pulled up? Not that long. Hey Arnold, Natasha Bedingfield, a frog, Kurt Nielsen, Johnny Bravo, Buzz, Peggy Mitchell, Ian Bell, Oliver Kahn, Pat Butcher, Scott Walker, Peter Laurie, Bam Bam, The Honey Monster, Jill Dando, Billy Piper, and a lesbian. It's me done. Yeah. I think everyone remembers where they were when Princess Diana died. Do you all remember where you were? Yeah, I was on the back of a moped at the time. Um, in Paris. So, so. Good. Uh, couscous, so don't trust it, right? Anything you put in your mouth, it feels already chewed, should not be in there. Flat sand, keep it out of your mouth. Uh, I used to just say, well, toilet the other day, right? I wanted to stretch my legs, yeah? I'm in there, right? This bloke knocks on the door and he went, somebody in there? I was like, yeah. And he went, well, I hope you're disabled. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. And I'm in the wrong, but you can't wish that upon anyone. <laughs> Awful thing to say to someone. Do we eat pita bread at all? Yeah. Do we toast pita bread? Yeah. Why so fucking hot when it comes out of the toaster? Eh? Once you get past the outer core, you've got the dragon breath inside. To try. It's just bread. Just you give it toast, pops out warm and toasty, innit? Pita's on fire. Just a little bit of toast to be underneath the toast. The night's condensation, I've just got a child's brain. Um, there's only two things hotter than toasted pita bread, right? One's the sun, and, 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 and and the other is a cheese and tomato toasted breville sandwich. <laughs> They've experienced this. The cheese is fine. Um, the tomatoes are a little slice of fucking lava. Yeah? When you bite in, you can't separate, and the skin acts as an anchor. You pull the sandwich away, the whole slice slaps you in your face, literally burns your face off. On the subject of burning, I don't know if anyone here has burnt their erect penis on a radiator. <laughs> Just me again. Good. No time to laugh, I've only got seven minutes, I'm afraid. Um, I'm talking to my dad for a bit. My dad's a bit of a geezer, I'm from South East London, right? My dad swears a lot, he used to be a lorry driver, wears gold, he's got swallows on his arms. Tattoos, not live birds, he's not some sort of freak. Uh, anyway, was, the other day he was going in the garden to varnish something, the Avery, I'm not sure, right? He was walking around, yeah, keep up. He's <laughs> signed down, right? He walked in, well, he was going to the garden, carrying the varnish, right? Trips, still varnish all over the new carpet, right? In South East London, and he went, oh, you bollocky cunt. Right, I'm 24, I don't know what a bollocky cunt is, or could ever be. <laughs> if it's some sort of oxymoron or hermaphrodite thing, I'm not totally sure. If you don't know what those words are, look them up and you'll laugh later, right? Anyway, <laughs> my dad saw me laughing, got really angry with this. He saw me laughing, like, you keep laughing, I'll fucking varnish you in a minute. Not entirely sure that's gonna cheat, to be honest with you, eh? I didn't hasten to add him probably spill it on route anyway, given his previous. <laughs> Only would have got varnished twice under those ethics. No benefits to being varnished twice, apart from being excellently protected in the rain. But I've got a coat, I don't need that. Coat crumbs, there's one here. You ever seen a fucking cloak be put in there? No. <laughs> Call it a coat room and move on, Joe. Hello, dear sir, take my cloak and dagger. No. Take my coat to the scarf down the sleeve, it's cheaper, you prick. <laughs> At uni, I had no money. It's the pole of the coats into one big coat, big Michelin, Michelin man with six coats going, just the one, just the one. <laughs> Padded out like a nan in a fleece. They're pretty good at layers, nan. It's like a big human material trifle. Um, I've got a theory about nans. I think they get to about 80, go to the post office, get given a fleece and racism and just let out, right? <laughs> I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day with his nan. <laughs> Not this nan, my nan. <laughs> <laughs> they just pick them up off the street. <laughs> Excuse me, you're a nan, should we go Marx? Cheers, yeah. <laughs> Can I have some sweets and a fiver? Yeah, probably. Um, anyway. <laughs> I was in there with me nan, right? She was my nan, your nan, this nan, Kofi and nan don't matter, is it? <laughs> what? Anyway, she's in there, right? All hunched over, full of fleece and hay, you know, all hunched, all shot, all guard, waiting for it, do you know what I mean? Hunched, hunched like a wanking squirrel, right? <laughs> I have never seen a squirrel masturbate, I can only imagine a hunch is emphasised, do you know what I mean? She was in there, all hunched, right, shuffled along, went, Nan, get yourself some trousers, they're on special, half price trousers. She looked at me and she went, I've got enough to see me out, son. <laughs> Quite a depressing thought, that, isn't it? <laughs> Basing your fashion choices upon your lifespan, but, uh, it's alright, she's dead now, it's not a problem. Uh, it's fine, she was right not to buy the trousers, so, good decision maker, even at the end. Uh, not the last month, awful. Um, <laughs> 
I've got my, my ex-girlfriend going to contact me recently, right, quite insensitively, right? She sent me a voucher, two for one, for Pizza Express on email. Right? How insensitive is that? She knows I'm single, she did it. Do you know what I mean, right? Who am I going to take, right? Anyway, I was on to my second pizza, and I... Uh, <laughs> I started to think about the things that pissed me off about her, right? I speak quite quick, as you know, right? But, uh, you know, and I say things wrong sometimes, but I speak quick, because I think I should be let off, right? It's ridiculous, but I'm sticking with it, right? I was in the front room with her once, right? I was a bit hungry. I think I'm going to get myself a bowl of cereal. She went, yeah, it's cereal. She was a robot. <laughs> she went, it's cereal, which is correct. It's a singular, not a plural. It's a bowl of cereal, not cereals. Even though there's loads in the bowl, right? It's still a singular. It's ridiculous, isn't it, Grandma? So I thought, oh, whatever. I thought I'm going to fuck her right up, yeah? Not in a bad way, it's all right. <laughs> so we invite an EastEnders Christmas special, eh? Eat your gravy more. <laughs> I won't do the bathroom scene. I'll be fine, right? Yeah. I went to the kitchen, it's quite near the cloakroom, whoever's keeping up, right? Got an empty, yeah, thanks, uh, we ain't got time for this. Uh, got an empty bowl, right? Put Cocoa Pops in it, right? Cereal, cereals, I was like, whatever, right? Put Cocoa Pops in it, and Kellogg's Crunchy Nut, right? Yeah? yeah? It's a bowl of cereals, eh? <laughs> Grammatically correct, so... Uh, I look like a murdered princess, not stupid. Uh, anyway, right? <laughs> so now, they taste nice, Cocoa Pops and Crunchy Nut, so not am I breaking down barriers in the world of words, breaking down barriers in the world of breakfast sisters. <laughs> if you want to be well sneaky, you do Rice Krispies and Cocoa Pops. Once the milk goes brown, can't tell. Right? <laughs> Got the bowl of truth. Walked back in the front room, most confident man you've ever seen, right? The swagger is ridiculous. Small flat, I'm here. Right? <laughs> she, <laughs> she went, what you got there? Just a, just a bowl of cereals. Cereales, cereals. She went, eat cereals. <laughs> I think you'll find. <laughs> It's a uh, Coco Pops and Crunchy Nut. Fuck you! <laughs> Bit of a petty man, to be honest with you, you know? <laughs> I did that at a gig the other day, and this bloke, he was heckling me, he came up to me at the end, he went, you know it's cereal's joke, you know it's cereal's joke, but yeah, I wrote it, so I do. Right? <laughs> he went, I just want you to know, I've been mixing my cereal for fucking years. I was like, chill out, mate, chill out, mate. it's not a competition. A copyright, some sort of breakfast Dyson. Um, I've been Rob Becky, you've been lovely, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>